some points. Talking about points, you can't get a better draw than this. Corey McFadden has got Mossy Oak Mudslinger. Corey McFadden has been this bull well. It was at the finals in 2001 that he rode this bull for 95 and a half points, one of the highest scores in PBR history, guys. Out of all the 90-point rides on the back of Mudslinger, that's the highest score, 95.5. But Mudslinger is still on top of his game. This might be his best year ever. Mudslinger could have been Bull of the Year. No one would have said anything. He ended up number four for Bull of the Year. He's been out 12 times this year, ridden six. Six times for 90 points. Is this number seven? Corey can ride the right ones, and he just got it again. That, that ride was phenomenal. And I said it last night. The finals means new life for guys that have struggled with injuries or just plain struggled during the season. They can make more money in the next eight rounds than they have all year. And this is a great example. This ride, Ty, they may not beat this ride when the score comes in all night. And we're waiting for the score right now. And I, I smell something big. The judges are tabulating. Remember, this is the bull that's produced 690 point scores this year. And he just did it again. How do you like for Corey McFadden, the high mark ride of the finals, and he just hopped up into the lead. You know, that bull, that bull makes you prove it every time. Corey McFadden had the highest score on this bull that's ever been marked and rode him great at the finals a few years back. But a bull like this, that doesn't matter. I mean, it may give you an idea, but everybody's got an idea of what this bull does because he's honest and he does the same thing every time. But the thing of it is, is he does it so well, so strong and so fast. It doesn't matter. you got to prove it every time. How do you explain a guy like this? He's ridden only 34% of his bulls all year long. He's the same guy who's ridden Little Yellow Jacket twice. He comes to the finals and rides Mossy Oak Mudslinger on the big stage. It's almost like he doesn't get amped up enough at, you know, at a regular event. He needs the big stage and the big rank bull to get fired up. You know, it's hard to say. Uh, Corey does a great job of riding bulls that spin away from his hand. You watch him, his free arm just kind of goes limp and he just keeps kicking loose with his feet and setting his hips over there. I think he does it as good as anybody going. Well, that'll make everything that went wrong with this season Go away, Corey Mack has got plenty of reason to smile. So that's our new leader.